Howdy y'all, welcome back to Low Country Live. We are talking about Southern Staples and you can get them all this week at Whole Foods. And Danielle is here to tell us about how to take a nice little healthy twist on a Southern Staple and celebrate those Southern Heritage foods as well. Well, yeah, we're very, very excited about Southern foods here at Whole Foods Market. So this entire week we're celebrating foods of the South. Ooh. So we've got kale, collards, corn, strawberries, local goat cheese. So check us out throughout the week. We have um, southern themed demos. A lot of them are for sale. Mm -hmm. Actually, the tempeh sandwich with local barbecue sauce that we're going to make today, I sold yesterday. Huge hit. This Saturday from 12 to 4, we are going to have a big southern festival. Southern here in the food store. fest. Yeah. We're just going to be celebrating southern food, southern recipes, southern ingredients, all the wonderful things from here in the south. Now, you mentioned this tempeh thing, yep. which I've never heard of in my entire life until right now. Well, so, what exactly is that? Tempeh. Is not just a place in Arizona. No, nope. tempeh is actually a fermented bean cake. So it's a very, very healthy food for you. Mm -hmm. The beans are formed into a cake, they're fermented, and it's actually a superfood that originated in Indonesia. So we knew a lot of protein with that then, yep, right? Yeah, protein packed. So the tempeh that we're going to be using today is Smiling Hara's. They are out of Asheville, North Carolina. Their tempeh comes in black eyed pea, black bean, which we're using today, sure. and also in the traditional soy. Great product comes out of Asheville. They actually received a loan from Whole Foods Market to oh, make wow. some product. How about that? So let's get started on let's, our sandwiches. Let's. We are going to use a Vidalia onion, of course, from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Put that in the saute pan with about, for one package, which is 12 ounces, we're going to use about one full red pepper and one full green pepper. Okay. I used about a half of um, a Vidalia onion because some of them are quite large. We're going to have to saute this up a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. And medium to high heat is fine. We're really just going to get these. That's like my favorite smell, the pepper and the onion. Oh, it's so good. You know something's going to be fresh and tasty when you of smell course. it. Of course. Peppers, onions, how can you go wrong? So I've taken the uh, black bean tempeh out of the package. And you can kind of treat this the same way you would sausage or any other meat product that you uh -huh. would normally barbecue. So just kind of crumble a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm going to crumble up the entire package. And by that time, our veggies will be nice and soft, and we can add this into the pan. Now, with tofu, I know it soaks up a lot of the flavors that it's around. Is that the same thing with tempeh? Exactly. Tempeh is a little bit of a stronger flavor mm -hmm. because it is fermented. Um, but yes, it does. It soaks up the flavor of the stuff that's with it. So great source of protein, really, really healthy, and very, very easy to season. All right. So we've got this all sort of coarsely crumbled, which is great. So now all we're going to do is add it straight on into our saute pan. That's going to soak in that oil and those peppers and onion flavors. But more importantly, it's going to soak in this ah, right here. The key to this everything. This is the key. This is Slather brand Slather sauce. It's actually made here in Charleston, South Carolina. So another great local southern product. Sounds delicious. Yeah. It comes in original and spicy. So we're just going to go ahead and slather the tempeh. That is pepper. slathered. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh, now it smells so good. Ooh. So you're kind of making like a taco or a stir fry kind of thing, but meatless. You're doing it with. Uh... It's like meatless barbecue. Right. What's more southern than good old barbecue? All right. So once that's heated throughout, we have a delicious vegetarian style sandwich. So you got your whole wheat bun, I noticed that. Of course, we've got our whole wheat bun, some uh, fresh local corn, just mm -hmm. threw it right on the grill, roasted it up, cut it right off the cob. Perfect side dish for that this delicious tasty. recipe. Now, I would have no idea how long you have to cook your tempeh for because there's no meat in it. As soon as it's hot, it's ready to serve. Oh, there you go. And we are just going to dish it up yeah. onto our buns. You could actually put a little bit of lettuce sure, on Sure, why want. not? Make it healthy. Get those colors all going together. And you're good to go. Are you going to take a bite? Are I'm, you gonna I'm take scared. A bite? You tell me. Yeah, let's go. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Southern Food Fest going on Saturday here. At Whole Foods. Yes, don't miss it. Make sure you come on by for some delicious southern food. Danielle, thank you so much. Here no we problem. go. We'll be right back with Low Country Live after this.